When Leticia Martinez Cosman invited Brett Gitchell on a date to attend the Seattle Mariners baseball game at T-Mobile Park on March 31st, she had no idea she would never see her family again. As a single mother and the primary caregiver to an adult son with special needs, Leticia rarely had a night out. But as a die-hard Mariners fan, she allowed herself time to decompress at the ballpark during baseball season. After meeting Gitchell at a warehouse store food court a few weeks prior to the game, the pair bonded over their love of the baseball team, and Leticia offered to take him to the next game. Her brother, Ricardo Martinez, who spoke with her shortly before the game, tells people that she had noticed he was wearing a Mariners hat, and one thing led to another. While at the game, Leticia snapped a selfie of herself and Gitchell in the stands. However, she never made it home that night, and her brother reported her missing on April 2nd. According to the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, an investigation has revealed that Gitchell allegedly kidnapped Leticia's son from the family's home hours before her reported disappearance. They say he drove her son to a remote area in Renton, Washington, where he allegedly attempted to strangle and murder the 24-year-old before he managed to escape and call for help. Leticia's burned-out car was discovered shortly after, but she was nowhere to be found. However, nearly two weeks later, her remains were located in a ditch. Authorities say she had been strangled to death. Gitchell was arrested on April 5th and charged with murder. He has pleaded not guilty to murdering Leticia, as well as for attempted murder and kidnapping of her son. Leticia's brother remembers her as a very giving, trusting person who always looked out for the best in anyone. Since his mother's death, her son has moved to Texas to live with his father, but Ricardo remains in Seattle, where he continues to fight for justice on behalf of his sister. He says that he'd like for his nephew to be happy and for everyone to never forget who Leticia was, because that would be his justice.